Hello and welcome to eBible Fellowship Scripture and Song program. The nature of this program is to take a closer look at one of the hymns that has been written to glorify God. This is part two of our look at the hymn, When the Roll is Called Up Yonder. We're continuing to look at the lyrics in the first stanza. The morning breaks eternal, bright and fair. That is singing about the time of the end when the Lord is taking his people home. And in the Bible, God uses the morning to speak of a new beginning or a time when the light comes after the darkness. And that principle is found in Psalm 30, verses 4 and 5, where it reads, Sing unto Jehovah, O ye saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. For his anger endureth but a moment. In his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Christ himself is called the bright and morning star in Revelation 22.16, where Jesus tells us, I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Of course, we've got the title, when the role is called up yonder, and we have to think about that. Is there really going to be a role called up yonder? Well, we don't know that, but we do know that God tells us about the names of every elect true believer being recorded in the Lamb's Book of Life. God's children, whose names are written in this book, will be inhabiting the glorious heavenly city that Revelation 21, verses 23 through 27 speak of. Let's read that. Revelation 21, 23 through 27. And the city had no need of the sun, neither of the moon, to shine in it. For the glory of God did lighten it, and the Lamb is the light thereof. And the nations of them which are saved shall walk in the light of it, and the kings of the earth do bring their glory and honor into it, and the gates of it shall not be shut at all by day, for there shall be no night there, and they shall bring the glory and honor of the nations into it. And there shall in no wise enter it anything that defileth, neither whatsoever worketh abomination or maketh a lie, but they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. In Luke 10, verse 20, Jesus instructed his disciples to rejoice in the fact that their names were written in heaven. Luke 10, 20 reads, Notwithstanding in this, rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. In the second stanza of this hymn, we're singing on that bright and cloudless morning when the dead in Christ shall rise and the glory of his resurrection share. In the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verses 3 and 4, we find this principle. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Moving on to the third stanza of When the Roll is Called Up Yonder, we find the lyrics, let us labor for the Master from the dawn till setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. And what was our labor for the Master throughout the day of salvation? Well, that was to declare the word of God to the people all over the world, that the elect might hear and be saved. And in recent times, of course, the Lord has revealed from the Bible that the day of salvation ended May 21, 2011, and now we have a new commission in this world until the Lord returns to take us home. And that commission or duty now is to feed God's sheep and to declare the truths that we've learned from the Bible during this day of judgment, which we're currently living in. And by feeding God's sheep, God's people will hear and then be taught and be edified as the Spirit of the Lord continues to lead his own children into truth and then draw those who have already been saved to himself. So it's very important that we should be speaking to others about all the wondrous works of the Lord, as we read in Psalm 71, verses 16 and 17, which say, I will go in the strength of the Lord Jehovah, I will make mention of thy righteousness, even of thine only. O God, thou hast taught me from my youth, and hitherto have I declared thy wondrous works. And now let's listen to the hymn, When the Roll is Called Up Yonder. the 
trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair when the saved of earth shall gather over on the other shore and the roll is called up yonder I'll be there when the roll is called up yonder when the roll is called up yonder when the roll is called up yonder On that bright and cloudless morning when the dead in Christ shall rise and the glory of his resurrection share when his chosen one shall gather to their home beyond the skies and the roll is called up yonder I'll be there when the roll, when the roll is called up yonder when the roll is called up yonder Let us labor for the master from the dawn till setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then when all of life is over and our work on earth is done, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll is called up yonder, when the roll is called up yonder, You've been listening to eBible Fellowship Scripture and Song Program. If you enjoy listening to our programming, we'd like to hear from you. Write to us at eBibleFellowship at Juno.com.